All right, guys, today in class we talked about adding fractions, um, and we talked a lot about um, old things that you guys already know, adding with common denominators, adding with uncommon denominators, and then we applied that to our new skill of adding positive and negative fractions. So um, first off, let's talk about when denominators are alike. So hopefully you think it's super simple to add fractions when denominators are alike, because all we have to do is add the numerators, keep the denominators, and then we're gonna simplify as needed. So if take a look at this example. We have five six plus four six. So we're gonna add those numerators. Five plus four is nine. They both have a denominator of six, so we just keep that denominator. We get nine six. Now, we can't stop there because nine six is an improper fraction, so we have to turn that into our mixed number. When we do that, six goes into nine one whole time with three six left over. But again, we can't stop there because three six can be simplified to a half. So our final answer is one and one half. Okay, so adding a like, add the numerators, keep the denominator, simplify. Now, when it's a, there's an extra step added when we are adding fractions that have unlike denominators. Um, so if the fractions have unlike denominators, we have to find the LCM or the least common multiple and create common denominators. And then from there, we'll just, we'll have the same fraction. So then the same denominator. So we'll just add the numerators and simplify. So if we look at this example, we have three fifths plus two thirds. The least common denominator between five and three is 15. So we're gonna create common fractions with a denominator of 15. So to get a denominator of 15 for this fraction, we would multiply uh, by three. And when I do that, I get um, nine fifteenths because I multiplied the top and the bottom by three. Then we gotta do the same thing to create a common fraction for two thirds that has a denominator of 15. So we're gonna multiply this one by five and I get 10 fifteenths, because I did two times five is 10, three times five is 15. And now we're gonna add those. So when we add nine fifteenths and 10 fifteenths, we get 19 fifteenths. However, can't stop there because we have an improper fraction. We have to turn our improper fraction into a mixed number. So 15 goes into 19 one whole time, and then there's four fifteenths remaining. I can't simplify four fifteenths, so that's my final answer. Okay. Now, we're gonna use both of these skills to help us um, add positives and negative fractions. So that's the new part, positives and negative fractions. Um, and just like we did with the decimals units, we're gonna use those integer rules to help us add positive and negative fractions. So, for example, if we had negative three-fourths plus a positive two-thirds. First thing that we need to do, they are unlike, so we need to get some common denominators. Um, the least common multiple between four and three is 12. So to have a denominator of 12, I'm gonna multiply this whole fraction by three, and I get negative nine twelfths, okay? Because I multiplied the numerator and the denominator by three. Then for this fraction to have a denominator of 12, I'm going to multiply it by four. So I get eight twelfths, and it's a positive, so it's a positive eight twelfths, and we're adding these two. Now, now is where we're gonna apply those integer rules, and we have to ask ourselves, um, are they the same sign or are they different? They are different signs, and we know the rule for when we are adding with different signs is to find the difference and to keep the sign of the greater absolute value. So if we look, the one with the greater absolute value here is our negative 9 twelfths. So I know immediately that my answer is gonna be a negative. And now I can just find the difference or I can subtract like normal. So 9 twelfths minus 8 twelfths would be 1 twelfth. So our answer is negative 1 twelfths. 